I'm Melanie Zayas and I'm here at Ida S. Baker High School at the Academy Choice Fair. Let's go check it out! Hello, my name is Roman Amba. It's amazing Academy Choice Fair, and I'm here with Mrs. Silva and Mrs. Mansfield. What what this what made you decide to organize this? Well, our freshmen are getting ready to decide what academy that they're going to join starting their sophomore year. And when they make that decision, they'll have to be in that academy for the rest of their high school years. So we wanted them to see what academies that we had available. You want to add to that? We thought that current academy members that represented the academy best would be the best way to demonstrate what's going on in that academy, to lure the kids in to help make those choices. Is there anything you're hoping to get out of this? Well, we're hoping that our students will make good choices about the direction that they're going to go for the rest of their high school years. And the thing that I had seen happen, which I hope to ha have happen, was uh, instilling a passion in the freshmen for one of the academies. And some of them have discovered an academy they didn't even realize they wanted just by visiting all the yep. students. Yep. That's all the questions I have. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm at the Leadership Academy with... Talisha. Alejandro. Brianna. And what would you guys say this academy is about? Um, well, our goal is to motivate people to join this academy so they can be better leaders. We want more people to join this academy because we do need a lot of people in it. It takes a lot of effort. Um, what else would you guys say? Well, a lot of people think this is like a military, like, join the military thing. It's not. It's more of a learn to be a better person. A better leader. A better leader. Yeah. It also helps you prepare for more life events. Uh, for example, I was able to get my resume together for my first job because ROTC helped me put it together. That sounds amazing. Um, what other like extra activities do you think this academy offers for people? We have a bunch people? of teams. We have drill, expedition, not expedition, color guard. Um, Our STEM side has robotics, cyber patriot, drones. We have. There's drill, Raiders, I think it's coming back too. So we have a lot. There's just about a team for everyone, no matter what you're in here. We also have a lot of community service hours. That's how most kids get their hours done for to graduate high school and scholarships. They just do stuff for JRTC. Okay. That sounds amazing. I hope you guys get a lot of people for this. It sounds really fun and I interesting. Hope so too. We, it would be nice to see a lot of the freshmen come back next year. Yep. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Hi, I'm with the Teaching Academy and I'm with... Sierra, Michaela, Isabella, Amy. And what would you guys say this academy is about? Um, this academy is learning different fundamentals and strategies of teaching, not only for becoming a teacher, but just psychology and human development. Yeah, definitely just working with little kids, learning how to work with them. Um, and just learning about education in different ways, so yeah. Um, we learn about how education can impact and change the world and how uh, learning how to deal with kids can help you in like the real world even if you don't go into teaching. We learn about like the psychological aspects of it, how like not everyone learns the same way and there's different learning styles. Sounds amazing. What would you say is the difference between this academy and just everyone else? The difference between our academy is we, every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we go to the elementary school across the street and teach kindergarten to fifth grade. But if you are interested in teaching high school, we also allow you to do your internship here in the high school. Definitely just making relationships with the kids and like just the whole aspect of being a teacher has really just changed my life. And I think that this academy can give you that opportunity that no other academies can. 
Um, we have a lot of creative freedom, so we do a lot of visual and like arts and crafts projects. And I feel like people underlook that part of teaching, and they don't realize that teachers put a lot of like visual aspects into their teaching. And I think that is really interesting that we get to just like you know be creative with what we do and how do we develop our teaching style. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that it's not only education, like being a teacher, you can do multiple things like child psychology or like even nursing. What I want to do it helps you understand kids and how they act and stuff. Wow, that sounds amazing. I hope you guys get a lot of people. This sounds really interesting and I would personally do this. Have a good day, guys. Great day. Hi, I'm here with... Uh, Madison Lockhart. Hal Pumarada. Sophia Portier. And what do you guys think about this event? I think it's like really fun and informative and I really like how they all present everything to you and explain everything and answer the questions really well and direct. Um, I like that it shows you all the academies and that you get to know what you're choosing from and that it really helps you know everything that you're you know, going to go into yeah. later. I think that it's really helpful to like go around and actually see and get the information on what we're going to be doing in each academy. Do you guys have an idea of which academy you want to choose? Yeah, of course. Um, medical, because that's what I want to do. But I also am leaning towards like other things. Okay. Um, I'm thinking medical, and then I also really like to be production as like another choice. I want to do medical too. <laughs> like, <laughs> medical seems to be very popular, yes. Yeah, everyone wants to do medical, which is really funny because I thought not a lot of people would do it. I don't yeah. know. Well, I, guy, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this event. Don't be shy and look around everywhere. All right, thank you. No problem. Now I am here with the Business Academy. Hello. Tell me a little bit about this academy and all its fundamentals. So this academy is pretty hands-on. It's an entrepreneurial class where you'll learn how to start a business and how to manage it and eventually how to forego it. And what are your favorite things about this academy? The hands-on feeling. I mean, everyone knows each other. The teacher knows you. You know the teacher. And it just feels like a family. I hope you get many applicants. Are you into cars like that? Yeah. Maybe later in life you'll be able to fix my car, so. For sure, yeah. I'm at the Automotive Academy. I'm here with Alex Tardy. Nicholas Rodriguez. And what do we have going on here? We have an assortment of items. We have two engine heads off of a Chrysler V6. We have a turbo, a camshaft, an alternator, oil filter, a set of tools, and electrical display to demonstrate some electrics. And what would you say is, is the reason people should join your academy over other academies? Well, our academy offers certifications to help us with our future careers, you know. If you want to be a technician at a dealership or start your own business, you know, you have these qualifications to uh, show you that you're certified, you know how to work on your vehicles, and uh, you know, it just helps you with your job, career, features, you know, all that stuff. We're better than man. If I have no car experience, should I still join this academy? Of course. Our instructor, he's amazing. He'll uh, teach you how to do everything step by step. You know, you learn from the basics, from safety, all the way up to level four, which is uh, uh, transmissions and uh, electrical. He'll, he'll, he's an amazing instructor. He'll guide you with everything, you know, everything you need. Any questions, he'll answer for you. Yep. All right, thank you. That was amazing. Yeah, thank you. I hope you guys get a lot of people. This sounds really cool and awesome. Yep. Have a good day, guys. Thank you. And we're back, and we're at the Musical Arts Academy with... Wayne Backus. Hannah. And what do we have going here, Wayne? So, uh, at the Music Arts Academy, we have all kinds of different instruments, like snare drum, brass instruments like the trumpet and the saxophone. Even beyond that, we got string instruments like a guitar. Uh, yeah. How long have you been playing the saxophone? Nine years. And what ensembles would you recommend for someone who also plays saxophone? Um, I recommend wind ensemble and jazz band, as those are like the two that you really want to do. But if you're starting out fresh and new, I recommend concert band. And what would you say is the reason people should pick this over other academies? So music is in everything we do, honestly. And it's uh, something like a hobby that most people don't know that they have talent for. Right? You can find that talent here. At, uh, playing music at the academy, and it'll help you in the future and get you really something to do. Join a nice gig. That sounds amazing, guys. I would I hope you guys get a lot of people. It sounds really good. Yeah. Have a good day. Hi, I'm Romy, and I'm here with Harley, Stacy. And what was your favorite academy, and why? Um, business because I'm interested in it. Okay. And, yeah. and criminal justice because I'm interested in it. <laughs> okay. Some good choices, guys. Have a good day. You too. 
My name is Romeo and I'm here with... Kendall. And what do you think about this event? I think it's very interesting and um, it's definitely like intriguing to see all the academies and what they're about. And I think the academy leaders are very good at explaining about like what it's about to make you more interested in it. Nice. What academy is your favorite and why? Criminal justice because I want to be a detective when I get older. So I talked to them and they said that they do a lot of forensic science, fingerprints, shoe casting, all of that. And I'm very interested in stuff like that. So I think it'll be good for me to just learn about it more. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Hi, I'm Michaela. I'm here with Melanie Zayas. Melanie Garcia. And what do you guys have going on today? This is the Theater Academy. In theater, we like to perform and work on tech. Performing includes music, dancing, and acting, and many more. Some events that we do, we go to district and we can compete with duets, solos, uh, large uh, group numbers, and we do musical awards after our spring musical. What's your favorite thing to do in the academy? Definitely dance, perform, perform in general. I love, love performing. Yes, dancing is my favorite thing. Uh, we can create uh, large group numbers. We did one this year, our first time choreographing, which was really fun. And what would you say to somebody that would want to join this academy? If you are looking to make um, new friends and have a great high school experience, this academy is for you. Yes, uh, I made a lot of friends through this academy, so. Okay, great. Hi, I'm Maddie and I'm here with Baker's Criminal Justice Academy. So what is something that someone in, interested in this academy should know? Um, if you are really interested in law and just law enforcement in general and want to come into this academy, I think it teaches you like mock trials, laws, amendments, uh, it teaches you how to pick off fingerprints, uh, you can do foot impressions and more like, more like hands-on stuff. Okay, and what's your favorite part of this academy? Uh, my favorite part about this academy is definitely just how fun it is and how overall like it's such a positive like academy to be in and it's not boring and it never has like a lame part if that So you'd say it's easy to make friends in this academy? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, like you can easily just make friends in that academy. Like everybody is doing the same thing you're doing and you'll never have a project alone. Like all of it is pretty much group work and y'all working together to just come up with something. Thank you, ladies. Hi, I'm Michaela and I'm here with Kyle. What do you do in this academy? Um, really, you just make a lot of like clay and ceramic like pans and pots and a lot of just sculptures and stuff. What's your favorite part of this academy? I just have to say it's an easy but fun class to do. I mean, it's, you know, you get credit for it, helps your GPA a little, and the teacher's great. I mean, it's a fun class. So what would you tell someone if they wanted to join this academy? I'll tell them that if they're creative and they want, and you know, they would actually enjoy it. I mean, you have to work in the class. You can't just not work in the class. You have to actually do stuff. But um, I mean, if it looks fun, I would definitely deal for it. I mean, I just kind of had it on my schedule and I ended up loving it. This is 3D arts, ceramics. Hi, I'm here with the Medical Academy. Hi, I'm Ella Peterson. I'm Madison Karen. What is something very interesting about the Medical Academy that you would tell someone who's interested in joining? Um, you get to work with real life patients either at the um, nursing home or the hospital and you get to know amazing people and work alongside a CNA that actually works in the field. Um, I would like to let someone know that's coming into this academy that it's a fun academy to make friends in. So a lot of my friends my senior year ended up being people that I was going to clinicals with because we're in clinicals for 40 hours. So normally it's someone that you're paired up with when you're with your CNA. So what would you say is the most interesting part or like your favorite part to do in the academy? Um, I would say working with people, and it could be people of any type, um, any gender, any size, um, whether they have disabilities or not, and it just shows us um, different ways to help people with different disabilities. Uh, I'd have to agree with her just because we spend so much time in the hospital and in the nursing home. It becomes one of your favorite parts of the job, just working with and knowing that you're helping these patients and making their days better when they see you. Thank you so much. I hope you save my life one day. <laughs> Hi, I'm Madison. And I'm Melanie. And we're here with the Engineering Tech Design Academy. I'm Joseph. And I'm George. So what are some certifications that you guys get with this academy? 
Uh, we get AutoCAD certifications and Inventor certifications. Can you tell me more about those? Um, yeah, you basically you get these certifications in that they um, help you out in the real world. They show you, um, they show employers that you know what you have, what it takes to um, be an engineer. It shows that you know what you're doing when it comes to 3D modeling and um, designing um, 3D prints and all that. And what are your favorite parts about this academy? Uh, my favorite part is definitely being able to be creative and explore, especially around Christmas time and Easter when you're able to make presents and ornaments for other people. I think it's pretty cool. Can you show us how to use the 3D printer? Um, yeah, basically, it takes the filament in here and then it brought, drops it down into the machine and it pulls the filament through to a heated tip and then it lay and then after that then it just lays it down onto the pad and then the um, extruder just moves it around and it makes a shape. It is so cool. That's really cool guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Melanie Tyus. I'm Maddie. And we're here with Emiliano Gonzalez. Chase Brenneman. And they're with the Computer Science Academy. So what are the fundamentals and what mostly do you do in this academy? So we start off with coding. We um, make basic uh, programs. Then as uh, we progress in Alliance junior year, senior year, we start uh, doing hands-on work with computers, hardware, Raspberry Pis. We start building our own programs. What's your favorite part about this academy? Uh, writing the software and same thing with all the coding and all that for the servers and all that. So do you guys get any certifications with this program? We get certifications in Python, one in Linux, uh, some basic computer uh, certifications. Some basic. Uh, what interests you the most about this academy that you can take on after high school? Well, I want to be a uh, computer architect or network and I'm in cybersecurity, so I really learned a lot about uh, local area networks and uh, how to internet connect all PCs together. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Super interesting. I'm Melanie, and I'm here with Kevin Genesis with the TV Production Academy. What are the fundamentals and basics about this academy? Well, uh, basics are we run through video production and animation. We start off with Storyboard Pro, we get certified in that. Uh, you learn how to draw characters, you get to animate them in Storyboard Pro. And then you move on to more filming and editing. Uh, you get to record the school news, you get to edit that. Um, we typically use Wii Video. If you want to get more advanced, we go into Premiere Pro. Um, it's pretty much the basics. Anything else? No, that's pretty much it. We learn how the equipment works, how cameras, all the, like, <laughs> the back stuff, the control booth, um, and it's pretty much I uh, have filming a lot of filming um, for activities around school. Um, that's pretty much it. And what are your favorite parts about this academy? Uh, my favorite part is being able to run the news. Uh, run the news, you could be very creative with it. Uh, you can add any promotions you want. You could be uh, you could add backgrounds. Uh, there's all leniency to it. Uh, there's nothing exact that you have to be like guidelines that you have to be snapped to. Uh, it's very creative. Um, it's probably my favorite aspect, just creativity. <laughs> my favorite part of the TV production is filming. I film for a lot of the activities that go on around school, and I feel like Miss Wilkinson lets me kind of just be creative in what I want to do. So my favorite part would be filming. And what would you say is, what would you say to someone who is interested in joining this academy? Uh, if they're interested in joining, uh, they like making videos, uh, perhaps they want to go YouTube career, I know that's very popular, um, maybe just a director for like movies and stuff like that, this would be pretty, uh, th this would be the class to pick. Um, pretty much what he said, and also even to like people that don't want to be here or the people that do, like keep your um, mind open to it, because it does give like a lot of good opportunity. Alright, thank you guys so much. Hi, I'm here with... Aubrey Lopez. Hey Aubrey, what can you tell me about this event here today and what is going on? Um, it is a little informational thing about all of the academies here at Ida Baker and it's for kids to explore their options about what they want to do after high school. And what academy do you plan on choosing or have any interest in choosing as your high school academy? 
The Theater Academy. What can you tell me about uh, in what interests you in joining the Theater Academy? Um, that you get to make friends and perform and go on stage with a bunch of other people and sing and dance. That's great. I hope you have so much fun in the Theater Academy. Thanks! Hi, I'm here with... Jason. What can you tell me about this event, how it's going here today? It is going very good, guys. We're having a lot of these promising freshmen check up all our academies. My academy, personally, the Education Academy. Not the Teaching Academy, I like to say Education more because it helps get a better footing on your future and who you want to be in the future. I said that. That's kind of repetitive, but sorry. Um, education Academy helps you with scholarships, helps you on the better understanding of teaching, and it helps you with clubs and grades and teaching strategies to help you be a better student out of Baker. All right, thank you so much. Thank you.